DAP lawmaker Ramkarpal Singh has responded to former Chief Justice Rao Sharif on his claims that the downfall of the MECC's reputation in recent years was due to the appointment of an active politician as its chief commissioner. In a statement today, he said the claims by Rao suggest that the MECC enjoyed public confidence before the appointment, which cannot be further from the truth. He said Rao should have been candid about the image of the MACC, which took a beating when leaked audio recordings of a former Prime Minister and a would-be MACC official in 2016 were made public by former MACC Chief Latifa Koya in 2020 in the presence of current MACC Chief Azam Baki. He added that whether the recordings were true or not, they should have been addressed or at least commented on by Rao. According to Ram Karpal, the biggest disappointment from Rouse's speech was his failure to address the elephant in the room, which was the recent controversy surrounding MACC chief Azam Baki. He said, This had attracted criticism from the public, leading to a serious confidence deficit of the MACC. He added that Rouse's failure to comment on these incidents suggests his ignorance of public perception of the MACC today. During his speech at the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Forum 2022 yesterday, Rouse had said that events in the last four years have somewhat cast doubt on the independence and impartiality of the MACC. He claimed that it started with the appointment of an active politician as the chief commissioner. Although Rouse did not mention any names, it is believed that he was referring to the appointment of Latifa Koya, who was unilaterally appointed to the role by former Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad in 2019.